name is Lindy Cowling. Welcome to my channel. My website is www.lindycowling.co.uk and my email is info at lindycowling.co.uk. The video today is going to be called The Wait in Game. The waiting game, the wait in game. And when I say the waiting game, I don't mean as in waiting, I mean weight as in body weight, the waiting game. Although it does relate to the other kind of waiting as well. So there's so much I want to talk about um, about this because it's something that um, has been going on with me for about the last 15 months and also clients are reporting back to me issues with uh, big changes in body weight and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from I'm going to start as I always do I'm going to start from the top so I'm going to start from the spiritual spiritual perspective first and work my way back down so for individuals working with template energies, working on clearing ancestral energies, working on being part of a template energies, working on forming template energies. People within um, soul connections, people within twin flame union for example, not just twin flame union people that are very empathic, people that are um, wired in very much to the ancestral energies, the collective consciousness, people that are, you could say, contracted or have been contracted to clear for the ancestral consciousness and to clear for the family bloodlines. They all have, um, a, let's call it a, a predisposition to taking on board the collective and taking in the collective. And although it's not designed, it's not designed to, to stick with people, that energy is not just designed to stick on them. What happens is instead of that energy passing through the individuals concerned like um, as if they were a filtration unit um, like a filter like it passing through like um, yeah the best way I can describe it's almost like a like a sieve with tiny tiny little um, holes for the particles to pass through so it doesn't stick instead of that happening because that is that is a notorious balancing act uh, what has been happening and definitely has happened to me over the years is a lot of that stuff uh, sticks and you kind of take it on. And it's it's uh, like you take on the weight of it. And as that accumulates, it's rather like um, a bicycle wheel that has been riding through a muddy field, a very wet muddy field for a number of years. And then some of that mud sticks. And if it's not hosed down by cleansing the system, by getting healing, by taking a break, by uh, spiritual cleanliness, by physical cleanliness, by sorting the whole system out as a whole, somewhere down the line that that kind of it, it sticks and it, and it gets very slow and it gets very heavy and actually your own energy can get quite dulled down with that dumbed down with that and so what happens is you you will can start to lose track especially if you're empathic on top of this and so you can start to lose track of what is your energy and what is the collective energy um piling on top and literally, if you notice the language I'm using, I'm saying piling on top, like piling on weight, taking the heaviness of it, the heaviness of it, the weight of it. When you think of the word ancestral and bloodlines, you get a sense of vast volumes of history, vast volumes of characters. You get a sense of it being quite, 
quite heavy. And what can happen over a period of time that can translate into the energy field where you are piling on weight. Now that is only one level to it. So I'm starting with the spiritual level. Also on the spiritual level, uh, the weight gain side of it can happen uh, because you are your brain, if you like, your ego gets the message that you are expanding at a huge rate of knots, very, very quickly. You're expanding rapidly, and so it it doesn't get confused, but it it takes the message, oh, I'm expanding rapidly, I'm vaster than I was before, so I have to have a vast vessel to contain this kind of energy. So that's another layer to it, you know, rather like layers of weight, that's another layer to it. The next layer to it is the actual anchoring and the embodiment of these energies. Now again, think of the word anchoring, heavy anchor, an anchor strong enough to, to stop a ship, for example, you know, floating away, an anchor, like a conduit, anchoring in, anchoring energy in oneself, anchoring it for the collective, anchoring it for a template, anchoring it for the ancestral, you know, whatever part of that process you're in. Um, and if you think of that, that those words I'm using again, that is again, it's a kind of like, the, the expression there is quite a heavy kind of solid, grounded energy. And even the word embodiment, uh, embody, embodiment in the body meant, meant to be in the body bringing the energy into the body, grounding it, anchoring it into the body. And for many of us, myself totally included in this, for years I was away with the fairies. I was not present in my body, hardly at all actually. I was not anchored in my body. I was not the, the embodiment. I was flying off all over the place spiritually, always up there and not down to earth. In fact, I didn't even want to be on the earth for a very long time. I wanted to be up there. And it's only been in later years that I have learnt and gone through the process and brought that down into my energy field. So now I'm much more the embodiment of it. I don't go off anywhere like that now. It's in me. It's already of me. Uh, it's a different stage of the process but part of that again I feel is the body the body our body gets the message that uh, you it has to be solid to to anchor this stuff to keep your feet on the ground to keep you physical to make you aware that you're on earth Again, it gets it gets that message. So from the spiritual perspective, there's the anchoring of these energies. There's that side of it. And the body getting the signal, I have to be, I have to be pretty vast to contain this amount of energy. Uh, that's one level of it. The empathic taking on and the taking on the ancestral side of it is another layer of it, so to speak. So there's those layers to it. There is uh, also, if we, if we bring it down um, again to another level, there is the pain body side of it, the emotional side of it, where those emotions that we haven't dealt with yet, that we've spiritually bypassed, haven't wanted to look at, or if we've had continuous um, themes like continuous loss, continuous grief, continuous suffering, continuous challenges, all those kind of things. That kind of, again, I'm going to use the weight um, analogy, piles on, piles on again. And these things are designed so that we get an opportunity to look at them and break that emotional patterning and recognise it. But it, we get very caught up as human beings in that, in that layer of it. So you have the emotional and pain body, which, which can be phenomenal in some people and, and quite large. And, and, is, and is, when you're clearing for the collective and, and, and doing this templating, active service side of it, the pain body seems to be very, very big. 
Um, and so the pain body, when it's when there's a lot of stuff being held on to, that, that is yours personally, but also collectively, that can also um, manifest physically as weight. And then on top of that, if you have any of your own issues that you're going through anyway with um, allergies to certain things, foods or your environment, you're super sensitive to that anyway, which a lot of us, a lot of people are. Or you have things where, like some people have arthritis where they can't move particularly quickly or fibromyalgia or ME or things like that, which where the system needs some extra support anyway, it needs a lot of extra support anyway, uh, but you've got this, you know, all going on at the same time, then what it does is the energy field can become very heavy. You know, it's almost like I could say, you know, how much, how much weight does your, how much weight does you, how much does your grief weigh? How much does your sadness weigh? How much does your anger weigh? How much is your anger worth in terms of pounds or stones or kilos of weight? Another layer to that emotional side of it is um, protection, protection. When you're clearing on a template side of it and you have a lot of people being triggered around you, that love-hate thing where they love you, they hate you, um, all this kind of scenario going on. Again, with the, with the weight side of it, how much of that is yours and how much of that is coming from the outside how much of that is other people's judgment other people's stuff other people's views on you other people's thoughts feelings and emotion lumped onto the top like lumped onto the top of this and like I, if i backtrack again to that that issue of protection weight the body uh, the spirit the soul getting the message you know i must be um, a heavier weight than, than is normal, so-called normal for me, to, to have enough of me to, to go round, to have enough of me to be here solid and present, to have enough of me to anchor this, to protect myself. You know, there are issues upon issues upon issues here. And the reason I'm bringing it up, this has been something that's been going on for a while for me now, which is very unusual for me. Um, I'm celiac on top of everything as well, um, which means um, it's, it's quite notoriously difficult for me to actually put on weight. Um, but there are very many levels to that, uh, like I say, and like there are with everyone. And, I'm, and yet I've put on a lot of weight. I've put on a hell of a lot of weight, actually, in the last 15, 16 months. I'm heavier now than when I gave birth to my children, which is another side of it as well. In earlier videos that I brought up about the Immaculate Conception, um, going back to the templating again, there are many of us that are birthing, rebirthing and giving birth to a new version of ourselves. When we're women that have that cellular and soul memory of giving birth, that, that seems to translate as, sorry, the sun's right in my face there, seems to translate um, as getting the, the, the message again that I'm actually giving birth, so it almost like manufactures a pregnancy, but it, in some ways you, you are spiritually and etherically giving birth to yourself, but spiritually and etherically giving birth to that energy and that template. So again, that's another spiritual level to this. And why I'm bringing it up is because it's been going on for me for a while now, and I'm, I'm having problems with foods I never had problems with before because the, your energy changes, your body changes and so um, certain things you could eat before, you know, I'm struggling with. But but there are so, I'm using the word layers again, so many different layers to this. And and I've, I've this is a theme that keeps coming up with my clients. Clients are contacting me saying, what the hell is happening here? You know, I'm, they're putting on loads of weight. Um, you know, and they say, you know, I'm turning into the Pillsbury Doughboy. What's going on? Um, and there are, there are many different reasons for this. There are all the spiritual ones I've listed, but there's also the emotional ones. And for me, there, it wasn't all one reason. It was actually all of the reasons I've just said there. And, you know, for me also, sorry, the sun's right in my eyes here, being, uh, being, um, 
on a waiting list for eight months on the NHS here to get help with the emotional side of things, post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, just I, my, I, my weight just ballooned at that point as well. And um, so the emotional side of it was, was going on as well as all the templating side of it. So if this is an issue for you, you've got to cut yourself some slack and realise that this is on many different levels. It's not just as, li as linear as you know, like, like wanted to eat more than usual. And all these people, myself included actually, the starving hungry bit has gone with me now, but at the beginning I was starving hungry all the time. And the people I'm talking about are saying I'm just starving all the time. Um, the, the energy requirement of the physical body, the physical body gets the message, it, it requires um, almost like more energy to, to act as a comp conduit to anchor this it almost gets the message that because there's vast quantities of energy running through us and we're holding vast quantities of energy it, it almost gets the message that um, it, physically it has to it has to be able to sustain that now honestly it's not like that for everybody there are some people that are involved in that template that are you know very slim and it hasn't affected them that way I really feel it depends on what's in your pain body in your emotions your personal makeup, what your involvement in it is in that template, what you're, where you're at spiritually, what your involvement is spiritually, how you're wired if you're empathic. There's a number of different things here. Um, what you're anchoring, what stage you're at, what in the process. But whatever stage you are at and however it is affecting you, uh, just try and cut yourself some slack. Realise that... It isn't permanent, it's part of the process. And, and the reason I say that, I mean, I hesitated then because I've been at this weight for a while now, but I already get a sense that I'm just going into to something very different and I'm expecting that weight to drop off me quite rapidly. I feel like I've, I'm coming away from that bit and I've done that kind of bit now. And it, it always takes the physical a while to catch up. And of course, there, there are going to be some people watching this that will say that they've always been heavy and that's their genetic makeup and they, they expect to always be heavy and, you know, um, according to their personal makeup and according to their belief system and things, that could be true. But um, I'm addressing people that where this is very unusual for them, where they've put on a lot of weight and they're noticing big fluctuations in weight. Um, and it is a combination of all of those things. It's not just one thing. It's not just a case of people wanting extra fries um, and extra cakes and extra chocolate. Uh, it's, it's many different levels to this. And sometimes you're going to have to look at all of these levels, not just one of them. Sometimes one of them will be the key to unlock that consciousness. But, but sometimes it's, it's a combination of, of these things. And that's that's really what it's all about. So for me, I mean, I'm I'm addressing those things at this moment in time. Uh, and for me personally, I'm not surprised that it's um, gosh, it's bright here. I might hold the camera a minute. For me personally, oops, there goes the thing. For me personally, I'm not surprised. Oof, I want to stand up a minute because the sun's right in my face. That's better. Um, I'm not surprised that it's manifested this way uh, because I, I've never done drugs, I don't do drugs, um, I don't smoke, I don't drink alcohol, um, so I'm not surprised and in my family personally there is a big history of um, eating disorders which probably I've been clearing as well. I used to have bulimia when I was young. My sister had anorexia, my mum had anorexia, my mum had to go be sent to a special school when she was a little girl um, to try and get her to eat. Um, so there are issues, that's another one I can bring up. If, if you're clearing a family that has um, a multitude of eating disorders and, and things like that, that can come up as well. So I'm not surprised out of all the things, uh, you know, it's not alcohol or any of those other things with me, that it's... It's that way, it's manifested. But just take heart, if you are somewhere on that trajectory, I feel it is part of that process. I don't feel like it means that there's going to be um, a lot of us, you know, un you know not, not happy about 
maintaining a a Pillsbury Doughboy kind of um, you know size. There's no judgment in that. Um, it's what we are all personally comfortable with. I personally am not comfortable at this weight at all. I've been very uncomfortable at it for a while, but I'm I'm understanding what's going on on a lot of different levels and understanding that that is something that has you know is I'm being shown spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally um, what it's about you know what to look at but also the bigger picture like I say there's so many levels to this which is why don't beat yourself up if you're struggling with it a bit because there's a lot of different levels to what's going on and again I'm going to reiterate this is a video if if you are someone that this is very unusual for you um, you know and you've just suddenly slammed on weight and it's very different it's just a lot of part and parcel of what's going on everything that's going on anyway on that note i hope that makes sense i will offer you and leave you um thank you for watching thank you for resonating and i will see you again soon bye bye